Hello my wildlings and welcome back to Burrow for the Turnabout. In the last episode we, well we got to just outside Bunny Burrow, well the Bunny Burrow train station, and we were about to head into Bunny Burrow after obviously meeting the lovely Mrs. Hops who seems really concerned at my presence, just the fact that I exist seems to concern her. Listen love, I have the same concerns every time I look in the mirror, so... Don't worry about it, I understand. Bunny Burrow, August 2nd, 2pm. <gasps> Great prizes! Yeah! Well, seems th like things are underway. Those are adorable carrots and I want one. I don't know what I'd do with it. I'd probably, it would probably end up being torn apart by the dog. Oh, this sure brings back a lot of memories. I performed in a talent show at this event once, back when I was a kid. Oh, a talent show? Well, what was your act? A play. A play? What about? Oh, the evolution of predator-prey relations and what Zootopia represents. After all, where Zootopia is now located was where the different species first united. Oh, that's nice. I see. I'm just imagining you as a kid performing in a play. Sounds yeah, cool. I said cool. Totally said cool. Wasn't going to say anything other than cool, because that'd just be racist. <clears throat> nice save. Thanks, Nick. I, uh, I know what I'm doing. Totally. Uh, heh. <laughs> Too close, Phoenix. Yes. Yes, we know what she's capable of, don't we, Phoenix? We know. <laughs> ah, Stu! You seem... I don't know what that face is. He looks like he's act he's uh, farted and he just followed through a bit. Yeah, that's the face I'd pull. Well, what? Uh, is this a voice for him? No. Hang on. Give me a moment. Uh, well. Uh, well. Uh. Ooh, well. Well now, what is it we have here? Eh, this is not even remotely like his voice, but it'll do. Stuart Hops, I presume. Please, only my mother calls me Stuart. I wish she wouldn't, the old hag. I mean, I love her dearly. Or my wife, when she's angry at me for something or other. Hmm, yeah. I always fear the day whenever my mum would say Christopher. Ugh. That's that's when I know I've done something wrong. It's just do if you don't mind. Of course. I'm Miles Edgeworth. My associate here is Mr. Phoenix Wright. Is friend not in your vocabulary or something, Miles? Hmm? I thought what we had was special. But no, apparently it's just a associate. <laughs> it's fine, I'll get over it. Stu, these are the lawyers we've heard so much about. Ah, of course. Jude the Dude has talked quite a bit about you over mu muzzle time. Oh, muzzle time is in FaceTime, I see. Ugh, I thought that was something completely different, like really weird. I'm not even going to go into it. Let's just move on before anything gets weird. Dude. The dude. Not a word, understood? Uh, yes, ma'am. So, if you are Mr. Hops, then the gentleman with you must be Officer Hops' grandfather. Huh, I didn't even notice the old guy with Stu. Name's Otto Hops, but everyone calls me Pop. A uh, pleasure. Yeah, great to see you again, Pop Pop. Oh yeah, this old guy doesn't like foxes, does he? Nick isn't even hiding his mischievous smirk. Yeah, well, when faced with that kind of thing, there's only so much you can do. And sometimes just a smile is all it takes, just to make you feel a bit better. 
Don't you just love family visits? Hmm. Fortunately, I've never had a family visit be quite that awkward. I trust, I trust the journey here was good. It was fine, no trouble at all. Oh, must say, never seen anything like you and Mr. Edgeworth before. Well, uh, I mean, Zootopia is full of different species. Probably others you haven't met. Let's not mention we're from an alternate reality. Yeah, I find that's a bit of an awkward conversation. It's having tea, well, I say tea. It's not really tea, they don't have tea in that universe, but their closest equivalent was having some of that in one universe. The question came up. That was a hell of a long conversation, like about a week. But then a week in their universe lasts like an hour in ours, so it was like an hour for me. Still, that's a long time. That's a long time to explain something to people. <sighs> Took some of the T quotation marks with me. It's pretty good. <laughs> yeah, it really is. Honestly, the whole idea still makes me a tad nervous. I don't know what his v voice has become. It's sort of devolved into whatever the hell this is. But it'll do. It's kind of got an Ace Ventura ring to, Ventura ring to it. I hate it, but I'm going to stick with it. Uh, cities in general, really. I prefer the quiet of Bunnyborough. Hey, your daughter manages. Well, between you and me, she's made of tougher stuff than I. Ha ha ha. Ah, uh, yes, literally. Literally, she's made of tougher stuff. She is a whole lot tougher than me. I heard she took out a rider once. Yeah, I heard about that too. Yeah, it's pretty scary stuff. Don't really want to mess with her. No, no, I've learned that too. Good. You better have. I heard that. Stu, did you get it done? Did you remove the... Uh, body, no, no, that's not the right term. Uh, the, uh, the thing that, uh, that thing, yes. Did you get rid of it? Obviously, it's in the swamp where it should be. Where am I going with this? Yeah, body, I did. It, just some business with a family friend. <laughs> family friend. Dad, not now. I still haven't quite got a voice for Otto, but I'll, I'll work on it. I can introduce you guys anyway. Here he comes now. <gasps> Hello. Hey, y'all. Name's Gideon, for those not in the know. Is this a voice? This voice will do. Oh, Gideon Gray, how have you been? Oh, I've been just fine, Judy. Who are your friends? What is this voice? It's also Batez Ventura. Hang on. Give me a minute. I'm going to work one out. Work out what his voice is, not something else that's a bit weird. Right, I think I've got something. Let's hope I can actually do it. Name's right. Where? But I thought I... But I don't see anything about to... See anything to my right. Ah, not the brightest spark, is he? That seems innocent enough, though. No, right... W-R-I-G-H-T. Yeah, it's a, it's a bit of an odd name, but hey, there are stranger names out there, I'm sure. Uh, the other one is Edgeworth. Ah, I, I see, my bad. I, I see you took the whole uh, associate thing to heart there, Nick. Decided to just call him the other one. Is it just going to digress into eventually one of you's just like, here's my mortal enemy? Yes, this is my mortal enemy, Edgeworth. Yes. Yeah. It's a bit like Sherlock, the way he doesn't have friends, he just has enemies. I hope you've seen Sherlock. Such a good show. Well, it was nice meeting you, but I got some pies to deliver. See y'all later. And there he goes. Fair enough. Hey, Carrots, isn't Gazelle's train meant to be arriving soon? Oh, yeah, I forgot Gazelle is performing here tonight. And all Judy had to do was ask. Well, when you save the city... Well, I suppose you could argue she saved the world, since 
It's quite possible that kind of thing would have gone worldwide and caused a lot of trouble in a lot of places. But whatever she saved, she did it very well, and she... I'm sure Gazelle would be quite thankful. We well, might want to say hello when she arrives. But until then... Dun, dun, dun. Let's have a look around before I start talking to Stu. Just stand there awkwardly, like looking behind him and around him. Hey, look, giant carrot. Nothing of note here. There's a giant carrot there. I think that's pretty of note. Look at it. It's got a happy little face. It's a happy face. Hmm. Anything worth of note here? Is that... Oh, what was his name? I don't know. The guy was with... Um, Gideon that one time in the past or whatever. It probably is, and this is... I'm pretty sure this is a shot from the film. Must be. I don't think there's anything else of mu that much interest here. Let's have a chat with Stu. So, Stu, tell me about yourself. So, a little about yourself? Me? Oh, I just bore you. Oh, where is the voice gone? Here it is. Lived on the farm my whole life. Took it over when I was old enough. As the eldest sibling. You were the eldest sibling of your family. That's why I got the farm. My siblings are still around the farm helping, though my parents didn't have as many kids as me and Barn. A big family is a happy family, that's what I always say. Now I'm picturing him in just about any situation saying that. Like, he's at the orthodontist. What's an orthodontist again? I said orthodontist. I know it's some kind of doctor, but I'm not... For some reason, my brain has just blanked on what kind of doctor it is. I was sure I knew, but now I don't. But now the joke's gone. It's too late. It's gone. It's gone. It's too late. Let's move on. Stu, that's the first time you've said that. Out loud. <laughs> hmm. It's just literally going round and round his head all the time. Like, every single thought is just... A big family is a happy family. A big family is a happy family. A big family is a happy family. He's just eyes slightly twitching. Right, so uh, Gideon Gray. So what's Gideon's story? The farm does plenty of business with his bakery. He's a family friend, though. It wasn't always that way. Uh, yeah, he bullied me as a child. But really? Uh, he once clawed my cheek when I confronted him, tormenting my friends. Uh, the fur grew back just fine, but there's a nasty scar hidden beneath it. Ouch. Why'd he change? After he, he attacked me, he was placed into counselling. He was a troubled kid, but with help, he got better. He was able to move on with his life. I did see that theory about that, because... Um, in that scene where he apologises to Judy, he does give a a very well uh, well worded reasoning for it, and it. I'm, I'm going to quickly play the clip. Hey Judy, I, I'd just like to say I'm sorry for the way I I, I behaved in my youth. I, I had a lot of self doubt, and it manifested itself in the form of unchecked rage and aggression. I was a major jerk. Yeah, he says that, which doesn't sound like something he would normally work out and say himself. So. Clearly, he's out counselling, which is really well done. Like, you can learn a lot from just the way he phrases that sentence, despite we never actually see him or hear of him going to counselling in the film. That's really well done. That is good filmmaking. In my books. Some people might disagree, but I like it. It's good. Oh, that's good to hear. All too often, these, st these stories don't end too well. Yeah... Yeah. Anyway, we, I suppose we've talked about everything we can. But uh, actually, we haven't talked about the carrot pen yet, have we? Hey, this is cool. So, uh, you want me to do what with that? Uh, forget it. You know, I haven't presented my attorney's badge in a while. Or ever playing this, I don't think. No, it's just the same thing. Okay, never mind. I'll stick with presenting my carrot pen to everyone. Back to the station. Again, we were just there. Jeez, so much walking. 
I'm here alone, then. The others stayed behind. Really? They didn't want to come meet... International super pop star... Gazelle. No? Really? Okay. I suppose they'll catch up with Gazelle later. Oh, come on! Just a few minutes! Who said that? Oh, hello. Oh, come on! All I'll ask is what you... Is that you talk? I declined an interview. I wish you could respect that, Mr. Koala Bell. Oh, Mr. Wright. This guy bothering you? Huh? You bothering her? Just literally beating his chest. Oh, his name is David Koala Bell. He's no different to any other pesky reporters I must deal with. Hey, buddy, shove off, would ya? Oh, there's a reason Peter Moosebridge got the position of anchor over him. No, I refuse to leave until I get that interview. Yeah, buddy, not a great idea. Just move along, okay? He's not about to fight me, right? <laughs> he looks too tired to do that. He's either tired or stoned. Or just really tired of your shit. That is a tired of your shit face, to be honest, if ever I saw one. Of course, from what I hear, koalas are surprisingly vicious at some times. If you're not careful with them. That's why you shouldn't go petting them in the wild. But then, I live in the UK, so I'm not going to see many koalas around here that are in the wild anyway. But if he is, I could take on a koala, right? Just remember, a bunny took on a rhino, so mm, don't be so quick to judge. Yeah, fine, have it your way. Phew. I'll be see you later though, Gazelle. And Mr. Phoenix, right? His voice has gone into... Oops, sorry, knocking the mic. His voice has gone into a bit of a... Uh, Chief Bogo voice. Alright, there we Let's get a new voice for this guy. This will do. Name's David Kuwait. I've forgotten his name already. Some. I'm sure I'll come back. It's fine. Oh, I must thank you for that, Mr. Wright. Eh, it was no problem. The last thing you need is someone harassing you. Occupational hazard, I'm afraid. Oh, but enough about that. Hi, Gazelle. How you doing? I would examine, but I've already seen the tree behind you. And there's not much else to going on behind you, as far as I can tell. Or is there? It's literally just a tiny little person hiding behind her, just like he will never know. <laughs> hmm, what to do? I suppose I should talk, but first... Hey, have you seen my carrot pen? Let's not bother her with needless junk. The best kind of needless junk. It's a pen that records shit. It's awesome. Uh, so, how have you been? Oh, I've been just fine, thank you. How about yourself? Uh, same. Looking forward to a few days here with no crimes possibly imminent. Ooh, Nick. You poor sod. When will you learn? Oh, well, for me, this is technically work. You're getting paid for this. No, Judy offered, but I declined. After everything you all of you have done, singing here was the least I could do. Oh, the judge is going to be sorry he missed this. Oh, he's not here? He got stuck doing something or other back in Zootopia. The guy just does his own thing, really. Yeah, he does. Which is fair enough. I mean, do what you want, eh? So I see. He seemed enthusiastic about my music when I stood in court. That's one way of phrasing it, sure. It's not exactly ordinary for a judge to start singing in the middle of a trial. Uh, you haven't seen this judge very often, have you? I wouldn't go as far to call him an ordinary judge. Yeah, he's seen some shit, man. He's seen some shit. Still, time progresses and I must prepare. We'll talk more later. Oh, well, that's fine with me. I wonder how the others are getting on. Me too. Me too. 
Bunnyborough, August 2nd, 2.50pm, away from the festivities. You know, if I could be, uh, if I could be bothered, and if I could remember what the time was in the last one, I could probably work out how long it takes to get to the station. But that requires effort and maths, and I can't be bothered with that. Who do you think I am? Game theory? Ha <laughs> ha ha, I'm not game theory. Just so we're clear. If that wasn't obvious enough from my own stupidity. Yeah, nobody behind here. Everyone's enjoying themselves where the action is, I guess. Huh? Wasn't this where Gideon hurt Judy all those years ago? Stu? Oh god, Stu better not die. Oh god, the music. What's going on? What's gonna happen? Oh shit. Oof! Okay, that didn't sound too bad. Oh god. Oh no. Oh, sorry about that. Who is it? I don't know. It's only business, I'm afraid. Whoever it is, their voice is really stupid. It's only business, I'm afraid. That I'm not done yet. Oh, you fuck right off, mate. You leave him alone, you bastard. Oh, God. Oh, God, Stu. Stu, no. So, we really should get going, right? Oh, there you are. Oh, we thought you got lost or something. Nah, we were just about to head over there. Oh, good to see you, Judy. I... Oh, there! What was his voice? There you are! There you... There you are! No, I've, I've lost it. I've completely lost whatever voice I had for him. There you are! Uh, old man voice! Oh, there you are! That'll do! As I rub my eyes. Oh, there you are! Hey, what are you doing? Judy, you're a cop! We need you now! Why does he need a police officer all of a sudden? I have a bad feeling about this. I ran as fast as I could when I saw what had happened. This guy ran? He's over a hundred. Mr. Hops, what's the matter? Oh, don't talk down to me. This is an emergency. But I wasn't... Just, what are you talking about? Don't you get it? That damn devil fox killed my son. No, you killed Stu. You can't do that. No. What? What? what wait, what? What do you mean? Dead or, or dying. I, I don't know, but I'm not a doctor, damn it. Oh, God. Please say he's not dead. Just come and see. I've lost the voice for him, but... This is not the time for voices, this is a time for panic! Oh, whatever is going on, we really need to head back. Oh, so much for a relaxing couple of days. Yeah, Nick. You really tempted fate with that one. Phoenix, if my dad's in trouble... I know. Come on. Let's go see what's happened. Come one, just one of you. Hmm, who shall it be? Probably should be Judy. She she's the cop. Uh, um, I can't do anything. I'm frozen in fear. Fear, fear. Mm. I just hit back and everything's fine. Yay! The music's better. Everything's good. I should get back to Buddy Burrow though. Buddy Burrow, August second, three fifteen p.m. Oh, thank God, Judy, it's your father. What happened? Stuart, he was attacked. Some doctors were here already. Given everything that's going on, they're with him. So he's all right. He's unconscious. <coughs> Pardon me. The doctors say he's going to need to be taken to a larger hospital in Zootopia. Oh, why, Bolt? Why? Another attack? Why him? Wait, another? All right. Judy, get a hold of yourself. Seems Judy is entering police mode. Kinda hard when your father is the victim. 
You need to take me to the scene. I... I need to see what happened for myself. Uh, all right. Uh, Nicholas is already there. As is the other investigator. Oh. Oh, I think I know who it is. That bastard always showing up. Bit suspicious if you ask me. Other investigator? Oh, I knew it. That would be me, Mr. Wright. I have, uh, it's been a while since I've done this voice. This'll do. Agent Savage. What are you doing here? Oh, that should be obvious, considering the day's festivities. You don't really seem the, like the type who goes to places simply for fun. It no longer matters. After all, I have apprehended the perpetrator. What? Already? Who? Who did this? Oh, the one who attacked your father was Mr. Gideon Gray. What? There has to be a mistake. Gideon wouldn't attack my father. Tell him, Phoenix. I, uh, don't really know him. If Mr. Wright wants his say, he best be prepared for the courtroom. Oh, not again. So, by apprehended, you mean you've arrested him? Well, actually, not yet. I need to find him first, and I will do just that. Which probably means you kidnapped him so he can't appear in court, thus making him look more guilty. So now I have more work to do. Farewell, Mr. Wright. Phoenix, what do we do? You're asking me? Yes! My father was attacked and Gideon was arrested. I'm a mess right now. Right, uh... Hold on, over there. That's the reporter that was harassing Gazelle earlier. You, what do you want? You're a reporter, right? Good at getting information? Yes, why? Oh, time to get some answers. Well, actually, it's time for the end of the episode, but we'll get answers in the next one, and I'll see you all then. Bye-bye.